Now then, he's the man who adds a sense of class, sophistication and glamour to our Saturday night. <laughs> yes, Anton Dubeck is here. Oh, it's him. So... It was him, was it? <laughs> <laughs> you were doing so well. <laughs> oh, I had a new fond one to do it all over again. <laughs> <laughs> it's That's looking nice. good. We won that was 23 rather good, points, wasn't it? Then 24, 27, 35. 35. I know. I know, 35. These walls. I mean, she was beautiful. Oh, yeah. You were uh, great. Thank, she... Well, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> she was brilliant, and it was a, such a it's, a... it's a song that I've wanted to use on Strictly for yeah. about the last 15 years, actually. Mm. Um, but it, it needed to be really played out perfectly. Because you've got the paso. The paso doble, so it goes from drama to drama. A different sort of drama. Um, so not that sense of... Uh, Upset. Paso's a bit bonkers. This isn't is it? dramatic. It's great dance, the paso, because it, again, it's really narrative led dance. Right. And it's all about line and intention and those qualities that I think Emma has in abundance. Those things she has wonderfully well. Yeah. So this, I think this could be a really strong dance for Emma. How much time? Because uh, shooting for EastEnders is uh, it's on, tough. Yeah. So yeah. how much time are you getting? She's doing incredibly well. She is constantly working on EastEnders. She's got really busy schedule there. So she's on, you know, she's doing two massive jobs. I mean, this week's been a bit of a struggle. We, she was filming, Emma was filming Monday and Tuesday. So we only got into the studio yesterday mm. Mm. and started putting together. God. And I'm going to see her this afternoon. I'm going to we'll work until late. Um, and then before you know, it's going to be show day. So. She hasn't had a lot of time, but she's such a hard worker and such a pro. You know, well, you she's at it all the time. In the past, you, you, you have had some very funny, some very lovely mm. partners. Slightly older end of the spectrum, perhaps. And so, I, um, so, I mean, we you look at you and think, yeah, you're absolutely perfect with them because you look after them, take care, but you're mm. never going to win. Yeah. Um, but, so, but so this time, you know, you might, might, might be close well, this time. Well, it's, it's a lovely... It's a different story for me, which is interesting, because we're doing great dances. I mean, things like Saturday Night, for example, um, so that, for me, is really interesting. It's an, and it's a new story for me as well. So I can put away the sort of the humorous side, the, the, those sort of numbers now, and do something else like this, which is lovely for me sort, as a choreographer and a dancer, as a performer. It gives me a new sort of uh, um, feel mm. as well, which is lovely. Which and is, is that you feel partly down to the fact you had your first ever spray tan? I had... To, <laughs> I've gone full embrace mom this year. I mean, <laughs> barely how have you avoided myself. it? Though, I, well, normally I wear clothes, so I have a little <laughs> bit of a dusting around the gunnels up here, and I'm done. But I've given it the full bifter. I've gone for a full facial spray tan. Not the body yet, then? No, I think it's a waste of time. It's just a waste of bed sheets. Right. Cover them in. What, it's a mess. What does Hannah it? think? Hannah thinks she's quite nice. She's delighted. Yeah. She likes me parading around the bedroom with a with a dressing gown on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's sort of oh hello. You um you provided us a week or so ago with uh, with one of the best moments on Strictly. Just made us howl. I mean Tess is so professional <laughs> at yeah. all times, but for Tess to lose it. I've never seen her lose it in my life. Um, and this, this is this was is amazing. Teethgate. Teethgate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and look at what I loved because he was absolutely mortified. And totally mortified. It was brilliant. Totally mortified. It was, it was, I didn't say anything. I just let him go. I thought, hey, well, yeah. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Wallow in it. <laughs> oh, it was brilliant. Well, brilliant. as well as, um, as, well as the, uh, the, the, obviously, the fact we're loving you on a Saturday Thank you. night. Thank um, you. Second book out. Yes. And so, um, I'm assuming, and lots of people say, you know, sort of first book, OK, uh, second book, slightly harder to, to, to write because you're not quite sure where you're going to go. Absolutely that, absolutely that. First, let me hold it for you because you've put it on the wrong way. It's going to be like this. <laughs> and the, the first one we'll, we'll was just, a... We'll just frame it out. ..was know, a don't doddle. <laughs> and he <laughs> says... And, that I, and I, it was a story that I've had milling around in, in my mind for years, really, sort of, you know. But the second story was was tricky because you have to decide what you're going to do with it, where you're going to set it, you can just do a whole new thing, a whole new story. Um, but we d I decided that I wanted to carry on with the story, take it sort of six months later, and then you've got to decide who's the star, really. You've got all these wonderful storylines going through 
the first novel. But it became sort of clear to me that the, store, the, the star of the story really is the hotel. Mm. And when I've sort of established that in my own mind, after that, the, the sort of world is your oyster, really. Well, it picks up a year after Moonlight, mm. Over, uh, Moonlight Over Mayfair, picks up a year after One Enchanted Evening mm -hmm. ends. And you've got the same protagonist in it. So you've got this Raymond de Guise, who's mm -hmm. kind of the choreographer at this big hotel. And he yeah. sort of suddenly gets this power, but he also suddenly gets danger also. Yeah, well, he's th th there's lots of intrigue going on, and and f into the second uh, novel, there's a new king on the throne, and the and the former king uh, was a, a patron of the hotel, and now of course ah. he's got so. so the, the hotel needs new investment. And, of course, we're leading in ever closer to the, the Second World War as well. So there are, without giving to be a spoiler alert, there are all these sort of underlying stories that are going on as well. I love the, 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 the thought of people not being what they seem, mm. for example. Mm. You, know, if, you know, we see people, but I'm always interested in what's going on in... The it's also it's the fact that uh, that it, that 1937 period mm. um, and uh, and the dance around at the time and as you say the hotel is the star the Buckingham Hotel in in London is <laughs> is um, is oh, is one of the stars of the book. Yeah, well, it's I find it's that like Downton it, dance. Well, uh, thank you very much indeed. It, uh, and that's that, actually that somebody said that, and it's a lovely thing to have said. I hadn't thought of it like that, and and that's a really lovely compliment because I'm fascinated by that time. The first part of the last century for me was a fascinating time. I loved, I loved the the, the sort of eras through the twenties and how the world changed. I mean, two massive wars from the beginning century to the sort of end of the Second World War, the world was a completely different... And it changed so much. I mean, Queen Victoria started on the throne yeah. at, the, at the beginning of the century, and by the time we come out of the Second World War, the world is a very different place. Yeah. Um, so I find all that really, really fascinating. So have you got another one in you? We have, in actual fact, we had conversations uh, the other day. I was in, uh, with the publishers the other day, and we were talking about book three and um, uh, where to go on from there. Okay. So I'm really enjoying it, really, the sort of development of the characters, the development of the storylines, because, as well, you know, you're getting ever closer to the war again and the hotel being the star. It's such a lovely, uh, 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 big sort of feast that you can get involved in. Thank oh, you, Anton. Thank you very thank much. You. Very we'll much we don't need to see the book because we've already, uh, already shown it. No, show it again, though. I think it'll be a waste. <laughs>